Arts are a big part of life here in the Polk County community and we are going to talk about one specific uh, group of artists that sort of has a, a long-standing tie to the area and Central Florida. And here today to talk about this special event, we have Yvonne Williams, the Assistant Librarian, and Linda Key, the Head Cataloger, both with the Auburndale Public Library. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, before we get into talking about the specific event that you have coming up in March, tell me a little bit about the Florida Highwaymen. Who are they? Uh, they're a group, the 26, one lady and the 25 men, who back in the 50s, early 60s, were going, this is how they made their living, and it was by painting and selling their paintings out of the back of their cars up and down the Florida Highway, the coastline. The eastern coastline, most of them were from the Fort Pierce area, okay. and they painted scenes that they recognized, that they had grew up with, in fact, Mr. Gibson, James Gibson, one of the highwaymen that's going to be there this on the 15th, he is a fourth generation Floridian. So they're, they're, they've been here for a long time. And they would paint the, the marshlands, they would paint the setting sun, they'd paint oceans, they'd paint the swaying palm trees, the billowing clouds, things that you always think about with Florida. And it was something to take back up north if you came down to Florida for the, for the winter. You couldn't take the weather back, but you could take a painting back. <laughs> now, it's all landscapes of yes, Florida. All, right? landscapes. all landscape. Okay. In fact, in one year, we were given this po poster here from the governor's office of Mr. Gibson's work that he did, and it hangs in our library now. It's a print. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. The colors are so bright. Mm -hmm. Now, is that a key characteristic of all the highwaymen, or is it just this artist? They usually do very vivid work, and they use the bright colors. That's what they use on a lot of their, their um, paintings. And they would do their paintings. They couldn't go out and buy regular painting material, so they would use, it was called the Upton board that they used to use in making houses, and also masonite and they would use crown molding to make their frames. You know, and, and then they would go, they, they weren't accepted at galleries back in the 50s. They didn't want, they didn't want you know, these young uh, African Americans coming in that didn't have any you know, knowledge or whatever, but they were very talented and they, they learned their craft and they did a wonderful job. And I'm sure you probably find it, they went up and down the coastline, you'd probably find some motels that still have those paintings that at that time went from 10, 25, Thirty dollars. Now they cost up to five thousand dollars oh, for an original. Oh wow! So they've so. really they've really come a long they've way, come a long way. in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So this event that's happening in in March. Tell me about it. What what's the date? March fifteenth. Okay. And it's from eleven o'clock to three o'clock. Okay. And it is also National Youth Art Month, and we thought how great it would be to have the Florida Highwaymen here and the one we do have the the one lady she is okay. coming so we're excited about that mm -hmm. and uh, to see them to see how they started off you know poor no money but trying to make a living and how they put their art to work and made a living so we're I thought we thought it'd be a great tie-in and we've had the Auburndale High School and the Stanball Middle School there are kids are bringing some art over for us, and then we thought Polk Museum of Art, so the other people that come can do some artwork as well. So they will be there as well okay. to help us. So out. it's it's an exhibit, or is it an art show, or is it both? Well, is <coughs> it, they're going to have their stuff there. They have their own little areas. They're okay. going to set up their paintings. The high women will. We have four of them coming, and then outside is where Polk Museum of Art will be, and they'll be out there where the kids can paint. Okay. But also outside, because it was the 50s and 60s that they started, we thought how cool to have some classic cars. Oh. So we got with Polk County um, Parts Cars, mm -hmm. and they're going to be there. They're going to have some of their cars set up in the back parking lot of the library. And the, the man that we talked to, Mr. Casnet, he's also a DJ, and so he's going to have sound equipment out there and playing some of the 50s and 60s music to go along with the car show. Okay, so. well, it sounds like it's going to be a, a big hop and party. We <laughs> have <laughs> family fun time. That's what we like to call is there, it. <laughs> is there a cost for admission? Do you have to buy tickets or anything? No, it's no? free it's and free. Right. come enjoy. We're going to be selling hot dogs up there that you have to buy. Okay. And they are bringing, the Halloween men are bringing 
their artwork in. So, so you could buy that too. You could as, buy that. Yes. If you have five thousand dollars, <laughs> I, I don't know how many. You know, they even have smaller <laughs> prints. So I, I don't, I don't know don't. what they charge. We didn't ask that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, now where is it? It's not. It's is it at the Auburndale Public Library? Yes. Okay. And what's yes, the address? One hundred West Bridgers Avenue. Okay. We yes. will have the highwaymen inside. They're gonna. We figured they were outside in the fifties and sixties. We're gonna let them be inside in the air conditioning this time. They'll be inside. We will have the, uh, the high school and the middle school. They'll have their artwork in our children's department. But then outside, we have a park to the side of us, and that's where the. Uh, Pope Museum of Art will be set up okay. and also in the back parking lot is where the cars will be, the classic cars. Also the performance foyer, they're a dance um, studio in Auburndale. They will be there at 12 noon. They'll be dancing in the back, um, in the parking lot in the back. To Some the 50s music. Yes. All sorts of, of sights to see and hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now, this seems like a, a fairly big event for the library. Yes. Do, you, do y'all do other events throughout the year? Not yeah. for this <laughs> magnitude. This is the big one. This is the big one. We started Linda and I because the uh, the summer had Viva 500, mm -hmm. and we did a, talked about Florida for our summer program, and we had so much fun putting it on, doing it that we wanted to do more, and so and we talked about it during the summer and, and back in July, and kind of from that came on up with it because. Uh, the Florida Highwaymen are part of Florida, mm -hmm. and uh, as they traveled and sold their artwork and made a living, and you know, they didn't have money to buy the part, the art supply, but they came up with ways, and it's just so amazing to do this that so we we wanted to incorporate them somehow it's into. It's a great piece of not only just art but history. History, history. Mm -hmm. to it, and and we didn't have time this summer. To, to do all of it, but this is a great tie-in with the uh, Youth Art Month. Exactly, yeah, to and it's a little bit cooler, right. so right. you can Ex go outside. Exactly. Yeah. Well, talk to me a little bit about some of the regular programs that you have, maybe on a weekly basis at the library. Weekly basis? Um, we, <laughs> we do story time okay. for the children up there. Once a month, we have a family fun time, and that's what this has fallen under, is our family fun time. Uh, next month, the, April, is National Library Week, and we'll have uh, another family fun event, and we'll have things for all the, for the family to do. It's, it, it's a big day for us, too. It, another big event, but not quite as, not as big as this one <laughs> and all. But once a month, we'll have different, either come in or either I tell stories once a month for the family in like a regular story time. Yeah, and okay. We do have a crocheting class for our adults up there on a weekly basis. Okay. Now, do you, for this event, do you need, do you have sponsors? I mean, how is it that, that you're able to put the whole thing on for free and not charge? And not charge? We like to do things for the community to start with. And a, a lot of people don't have a lot of money, mm -hmm. and it's, we want them to come out. We want them to, to utilize the library for and the things that we have to offer for them. Okay. There's and a there's a lot of fathers too that will come for the car show that you know say, man, I haven't been to the library in 20 years. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but they can come and then they'll see things that they like and and it will bring them back and start start them being patrons of That's the library. Right, the library. So yeah. so but do you have any sponsors you need to thank or it's just it's, all through the library? So. Oh, we have to thank our awesome boss, Crystal <laughs> Holmes, for letting us do this. We we came to her with the idea and she told us to run with it. Okay. Yeah. How about um how about volunteers? I'm sure I'm sure the library always needs volunteers to help out with various programs. With this, I'm calling in all my teen volunteers, so there will be a lot of teens up there helping out on this particular day, and then we'll have a, f a few adult volunteers that day to help us too. But we, d yes, we do work with volunteers. Okay, and if, if anybody's interested in becoming a volunteer, how would they go about doing that? I, actually, they would come in and talk to, I work with the teen volunteer volunteers and Crystal Home works with the adult volunteers okay. and okay. come in and see us. Uh, tell me one more time the, the date and the times and, and the location for the Florida Highwaymen exhibit. They'll be there on Saturday, March 15th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. And they'll be dancing in the back at 12 noon from the performance foyer. 
but everything else will be going on all during that time. Okay. Well, it sounds like it sounds like a great time, a great a great Saturday in Auburndale. Uh, well, ladies, I've been. thank you for thank you for coming on the show. Thank well, thank you. you for having us. Well, you're going to want to make sure that you head out to the Auburndale Public Library on March 15th to uh, to not only see the Florida Highwaymen and um, and all of the activities that are going on at the library, but um, kind of soak in some some arts, some history, and to celebrate uh, National Youth Art Month. The, uh, the whole thing is taking place between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. with the dancers at noon. The event is totally free. Uh, there will be a hot dog vendor. You're going to have to buy those. And uh, if, you wanna, if you want to take home any artwork, you will have to pay for that. The Auburndale Library is located at 100 West Bridgers Avenue in Auburndale. For more information, you can call the library at 863-965-5548.